These are rocks, and these are minerals. Hello and welcome to Better Geology. I'm Andrew Dunning, and these are rocks and minerals. Now, rocks and minerals have one basic difference. Rocks are made of minerals. These minerals have only one chemical composition, and there are over 4,000 different minerals. Now, there are three types of rocks, metamorphic, igneous, and sedimentary. Each mineral, all 4,000 of them, have a different chemical composition. This piece of quartz has a completely different chemical composition than this piece of aquamarine barrel. These rocks, again, are made of a lot of different minerals. For example, this one contains a lot of muscovite. This is muscovite. This one contains a lot of quartz. I've got two types of quartz here. This type is terminated quartz. The crystal habit of quartz is often to have this termination on top. This was deposited in a completely different way, so it lacks that chemical shape. This piece of barrel, aquamarine, the crystal habit is a flat top. This one isn't a very nice piece, so it lacks that flat top. But it is in this hexagonal shape. These are all different colors of tourmaline. These are all different colors of spodumene. Muscovite comes in sheets. It comes in sheets the size of windows or in sheets the size that are in this piece of metamorphic rock. Minerals are amazingly diverse, and different minerals can have different sub-minerals within them, they have different colors, they come in ranges of varieties of shapes and sizes and colors. Rocks, well, we know about rocks. Now, the best way to define a mineral is by five qualifications. A mineral has to have these five things. It must be naturally occurring. It must be solid. It must have a crystal form. It must be crystalline. It must have a fixed chemical composition, and it must be inorganic. It cannot be produced by anything living. Coal cannot be a mineral. The chemical composition it was what makes this piece of barrel different from this pink piece of spodumene. The chemical composition is what makes these pieces of tourmaline different from this piece of muscovite mica. Now, also, by definition, ice can be a mineral. So glacially produced ice, so ice that is at least 80 feet deep in a glacier, can crystallize and become a very dense crystal with a unique chemical composition and a unique crystal habit. Ice can be a mineral. This has been Better Geology. Thanks for watching.